Hey, Primary 6 Math Prodigies, this is Coach Saiful with your daily dose of math mastery. So, we are still on the Primary 6 Math Assessment Paper 2 on speed, and we are on question number 3. So, let's take a look at the question number 3. I want you to have your question paper at hand. And it says, James cycled a distance of 30 kilometers in 45 minutes. And the remaining three quarter of the journey at 30 kilometers per hour. So part A asks you for find the time taken for the whole journey. And part B says find the average speed of his whole journey. So let's take a look at the answers. I mean, let's take a look at the on how to solve these answers questions right now. And I'm going to erase everything. Okay, so James cycled a distance of, sorry, uh, 30 kilometers in 45 minutes. No. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply do what I always do normally, which is I'm going to draw James. So this is James. And James is on his bike, <laughs> which looks a bit like this, and he's floating up there. <laughs> okay. He's riding his bike with no handlebars. I can ride my bike with no handlebars. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so he rides from here to here. Let's just gonna, I'm just going to draw a line here. Okay. Oops. I'm just going to draw a line here. Make it easier, make it the whole thing. Draw the whole thing. Okay. And it says he dra he cycled a distance of 30 kilometers in 45 minutes. So I'm just gonna put it here. It's gonna assume this is 45 minutes and this is sorry, this is 30 kilometers. So I'm gonna put this in right here, which is 30 kilometers. Okay. And it took him how long? It took him 45 minutes. And here's the biggest clue to this question. It says he traveled the remaining three quarter of the journey at 30 kilometers per hour. So let's put our thinking cats for a while. If he has traveled 30 kilometers and he has a remaining three quarter of the journey, what does that tell you? It tells you simply that one quarter of the journey is equals to 40, sorry, is equals to 30 kilometers. Think about that for a while. Alright? If I'm gonna repeat this again, yeah. The remaining three quarter of the journey, in other words, he has three more parts to go out of how many? Four. Which means that this this three thirty kilometers is actually one unit. So what can you deduce straight away? That there are actually four parts on this timeline. So one, oops. One, two, three. And I'm going to make this a bit longer, so sorry, 4. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, by the way, these are all supposed to be equal parts, so I'm just going to make sure that I make it look equal here. I'm going to help you erase this part. Okay, let's imagine, okay. Oh, this is so cool, right? <laughs> okay, so I have 4 equal parts right now, okay? And it says that he travels the remaining at 30 kilometers per hour. So I'm going to write this down as 30 kilometers per hour over here. Not 30 kilometers, but 30 kilometers per hour. Okay, the question is, find the time taken for the whole journey. So now we understand that one quarter of the journey is equal to 30 kilometers. Okay, so one unit is 30 kilometers. So that means this, this, and this is also the same as 30 kilometers. So I'm going to put that 3 quarter of the journey is actually equals to 30 times 3, which is equals to 90 kilometers. Now, if I have the distance, now I'm going to draw the DST table again. Okay. If I have the distance, well, I don't have the distance, I have the speed. And if I have the distance, can I find the time? Yes, I can. So all I have to do is take time is equal to distance over speed. The distance in this case is actually equal to 90 kilometers. 90 kilometers over. What's the speed? The speed is actually 30 kilometers per hour. Therefore, it's actually equal to 3 hours. So the time taken for the whole journey, as you can see from the first... Excuse me. For, <laughs> for the first... This is the first time that's happened. For the first um, section of the journey is 45 minutes. So you plus that to the 3 hours you took for the 3 quarters of the remaining. And hence you will get 3 hours plus 45 minutes which will equal to 3 hours and 45 minutes. And that's the answer. So if you got that one right, high five, you are a math prodigy. Good job. 
Now we're going to move on to part B. And part B is the one which I think is a bit more tricky, is it? Let me take a look. Well, not really. Um, but all you have to understand the concept is, uh, is the concept of average speed. Now the concept of average speed is very simple. Average basically means you add everything up together and then you divide it by the total number of parts. So in this case, average speed, okay, is equals to what? Total distance over total time. So the total distance, as you can see from above, is 30, 60, 90, and 120. And what is the total time taken that we found out just now? It was actually 3 hours and 45 minutes, which is also equals to what? 3.75 hours, or 3 and 3 quarter hours. That's up to you. Why is it 3.75 hours? Because it's 3 quarter of an hour. Okay? So 120 divided by 3.75 and the answer will be 32. So the average speed of this guy is 32 kilometers per hour. And if you got that one right, high five, you are a math prodigy. Good job. So that's basically it for this question. It's much easier than the ones before. And that's what you're going to face in the PSLE. But no matter what you face in the PSLE, just remember that the more I practice, the easier it gets. The more I practice, the easier it gets. All right? With that, this is Coach Saiful signing off. You are a math prodigy. Good job.